Hey, 49ers fans, I'm Thomas Mott. Welcome into Chat Sports, and today we can react to the final preseason game as the San Francisco 49ers did lose just a couple hours ago, technically, when you're watching this video, maybe last night, whenever you guys actually did tune in. But 27 24 to the Chargers. Let's put a grade on it. We've been doing this every single week here at Chat Sports, following every single preseason game. Thankfully, it's the last one because those fourth preseason games can be a little bit hard to watch on the eyes. Have no fear. If you didn't, I did. We're going to grade everybody. Let's jump right into the offensive grades. Before we go, though, quickly, next week, going to be doing a 49ers mailbag video, so be sure to use the hashtag 49ers with your comments down below. Ask any question regarding the 49ers that you want. I will answer it on next week's video. So again, pause the video right now before we even jump into it. Scroll down. Use the hashtag 49ers. Say, you know, what's going to happen week one or whatever question you guys want. I will answer it in a video most likely coming up next week. All right, jump right into it. Offensive grades last night for the fourth preseason game. I guess a B minus overall. Again, 24 total points, 122 passing yards, 163 rushing, 285 total yards for the 49ers. Beathard is probably the bright spot here. CJ Beathard got the start, and honestly, it was probably his best game of the entire preseason. Made plays with his legs, had some decent throws. Overall, like I said, his best preseason. Now, as far as wide receivers go, no wide receiver really stood out. I mean, Kendrick Bourne had the one touchdown catch. De Debo Samuel had two catches. He looked pretty good. We'll talk about him a little bit later. But overall, this whole preseason game, no one on the bubble really jumped out and said, hey, 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 keep me on the team. No one really, except for maybe C.J. Beathard, which, of course, we'll talk about here in a second. But at the same time, the offense was able to move the football. The running game was very, very good. They had, you know, obviously 163 yards rushing. So a B minus overall. Turnovers were kept at a minimum. It was a good night. But at the same time, like I said, it would be a theme throughout the entire video. Who really stood out to you guys? Like, like, what, what was? Is there a bubble guy that really ripped out or came out of your TV and grabbed you and said, "Hey, you know, I need to be on the 53-man roster"? Because again. Not really sure that I saw it. The offense definitely did better than the defense, though. The defensive grade, let's put a C- on it. 27 points overall allowed the uh, Chargers at 153 yards passing, 190 rushing for a total of 343. Cardo Jones really uh, played pretty darn well and had a lot of time. The D-line did not do its job. Uh, Demontre Moore had a real chance to essentially go grab a backup defensive line role and did nothing minus like one good pressure. He was basically non-existent. And a couple of those Cardell, Cardell Jones drives, pretty darn long. He had that one drive in the second quarter that lasted like 11 minutes. Was it a 10 play, 11 minute drive? It was ridiculous. No one really stood out. I will say this though. Days after the linebacker Malcolm Smith was cut, Dre Greenlaw got the, got the start tonight. They're obviously trying to give him more reps. And Greenlaw actually, in my opinion, struggled a little bit at the linebacker spot. He got lost in coverage a little bit, gave up a couple of uh, uh, bigger plays due to missed tackles. He's still a work in progress, but if Kyle Shanahan and the 49ers were confident enough to cut the former Super Bowl MVP in Malcolm Smith, then that means they are very confident in what they have right now in Dre Greenlaw. So I'll be I'll just be confident with them, but I'm just saying, against some third stringers, Greenlaw did not exactly look like uh, the star Sam linebacker that we are hoping that he becomes based on his performances in a couple of previous games. Special teams, again, got to do the overall grades first. We'll do, um, I guess, a B plus. Nothing really exciting happened in terms of the special teams. DJ Reed had that nice 56-yard kick return. That was a plus. Uh, Robbie Gold was one for one in his 22-yard kick. He made his three extra points, which now he had some good punts. I'm not really worried about the special teams. Honestly, I think the special teams are going to be fine on both kick coverage and kick return. Uh, Rob Robbie Gold is one of the best uh, field goal kickers in the league. And honestly, drafting Mitch Wisnowski uh, as early as they did has really looked like it might turn out to be a pretty darn good pick because he's been great in the preseason and will definitely help out. Maybe flipping the field whenever we actually get on the field for a real NFL game. Week one, a couple of days away, really uh, like less than less than two weeks away now, less than nine days away, depending on what day you're watching this, when they take on the Tampa Bay Bucks. Hey, quickly, we are literally just a couple of subscribers away on our official 49ers YouTube page. If you're watching this on our chat sports page, here's what you do. Go up in the Google search bar above me, okay? Most likely Google, right? Don't, don't use Bing, use Google. www.chatsports.com forward slash 49ers. Click the uh, top link, you know, click it, and then it'll take you to the 49ers official YouTube page, the chat sports one, I should say. Give it a subscribe. If we get, so listen, I gotta explain to you guys. If we get to 1,000 subscribers, which we're like a handful away, 
we can do a ton more content, a ton more daily content. You like what Tom does for the Cowboys? You like what Mitch does for uh, the Raiders? That'll be me with the 49ers, guys. Just give it a subscribe. Come on. All right, all right, all right. I preached enough about it. We'll leave it here. Let's uh, go ahead and jump into our individual grades. And like I said earlier, let's expand more on C.J. Beathard. Listen, A-, minus. it might be his best preseason game of the entire, I guess, of the past four. The touchdown pass to Kendrick Bourne, using the legs, you know, running around, rolling to his right. It was a really darn good throw. And also, how about the block on the 41-yard touchdown run by Jeff Wilson? It was supposed to be a little sweep to the left out of the eye formation. Stops, comes back around to the right, and Beathard is hustling out there and trying to get a block, which actually sprung, really was the key to a deciding block in the 41-yard touchdown run. Played with heart, played with gut. I thought he tried to really play his way onto the team. Didn't see a lot of Nick Mullins. I think that's for a reason because he is going to be the backup guy. But the big news is multiple reports in the locker room said that Kyle Shanahan is going to keep three quarterbacks. So Beathard is probably going to be safe. Last week, I thought he played his way off the team. I thought Nick Mullins assumed the backup role. But if Kyle Shanahan is correct and they are going to be go ahead and keep three quarterbacks, then Beathard will be the third quarterback on that list. Question here. Are you guys happy with keeping three quarterbacks? I mean, listen, you can keep three and then trade one if you need to, so that makes sense there. I don't see why anyone would, would be upset about not cutting Beathard. It does take a roster spot away from someone else, but overall, I mean, you guys can leave the comment down below, but I think that all three quarterbacks uh, have earned the right to be on this football team. All right, again, trying to find individual, individual grades for people who didn't really stand out. It's, uh, it's a tough process, but that's my job here, doing it for you guys. Let's talk about Jeff Wilson. Listen, he's going to get a C plus, and here's the reason why. He played well on the field last night. 20 carries for 100 yards and a touchdown is a really good night, but it was also part of that botched exchange that resulted uh, in the ball being put on the ground. That'll be held against him uh, probably today whenever they are reviewing film. And the big reason why it's a C plus is Kyle Shanahan has said they're not going to keep five running backs. Now, I know what's happened to Jarek McKinnon earlier this week with the knee flaming up again, but is that enough to... I mean, are they going to put him on IL? They haven't done that yet. Does that open up a roster spot? I still think your four running backs are going to be uh, Coleman, McKinnon, Breida, and Moster. I think, I think that, that makes sense on who the four are going to be. Jeff Wilson might have played his way onto a different uh, roster. Might have played his way onto the 49ers practice squad. But again, I just... A running back getting 20 carries in the fourth preseason game does not bode well for him actually staying with the team. C+, plus, the fumble's going to hurt, but again, it was a lot of positive to watch in terms of the film as you're watching it uh, live on your guys' TVs. He had some good runs and really made for uh, a good night running the football. Next, another guy that might not make the squad, especially after last night, Kendrick Bourne. C, C, uh, let's give him a C-plus grade. I said this multiple times on, on this video. No one stood out. If you would have balled out today, if Kendrick Bourne would have had six catches for 89 yards and a touchdown or two touchdowns or whatever, he has a real shot to make the roster. One catch for 21 yards and a touchdown on three targets is really not going to do it. He needed a big night. He did not have it. And like I've said before, I think Jordan Matthews, because one, one, more Matthews really didn't play tonight, which is or last night, which was a very good indicator. Uh, that he's going to make the squad. I think Matthews makes it. I think Bourne is probably going to be the odd man out. Again, maybe practice squad. Maybe someone else picks him up because he was a bright spot last year. But he did not do enough last night to really really make a squad that is, uh, is has some openings at wide receiver, even though they drafted a couple of guys. But again, tough night, and I really wish for Kendrick Bourne the best. We'll see if he makes it tomorrow. But depending on when you watch this video... I don't think that he's going to. Again, last night needed to be big, and it was not. All right. Asked this last week. I want to know again, will Kendrick Bourne make the 53-man roster? Not the practice squad. The 53-man roster type. Why for yes and for no? Let me know in the comments down below. Another guy who you almost just feel bad for is Adrian Colbert in, 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 in the secondary. D-plus for him. Wasn't on the field at all until he came in on like a goal line situation in the, at the end of the first half, then started the third played one play and seemed to kind of retweak that injured hamstring that he's been dealing with and was not seen again. I mean, you got to be out there. And you hate for his final potential preseason game in a Niner uniform to be cut short because of injury. But that's how it works, especially in a safety position where, or a nickel, or wherever you want to play him. The safety secondary spot has been uh, pretty much shored up. And obviously Sherman, Witherspoon, Tart's back there. I think a lot of people uh, are going to agree that Colbert probably did not do enough last night, albeit injured, to actually make the roster potentially another cut tomorrow. How about this for a grade? How about health? 
How about the overall health of the San Francisco 49ers going into week one? They survived preseason pretty darn well. A minus overall for the 49ers. The really, the only big injury coming in an actual game was the backup o, o, o lineman Sean Coleman. But other than that, I mean, yeah, like Nick Bosa's kind of rehabbing and Jerick McKinnon's knee has flared up and uh, Jalen Hurd's dealing with the back right now. But these are all precautionary guys being held out. I think if you were looking at, minus McKinnon, um, if you were looking at potentially, you know, postseason games here, I think Bosa could, could potentially be out there based on what I've heard from 49ers camp. But again, uh, yeah, people always worried about injuries. You know, four preseason games is a lot, and they were able to get away basically unscathed. They will be pretty much 100%. Minus, you know, some things here and there. Maybe not heard week one. McKinnon for sure not week one. Bosa's still up in the air. But again, it could have been a lot worse. A minus for the health of the 49ers. And finally, someone I've graded on here before on our San Francisco 49ers, I guess, you know, week four preseason grade is Debo Samuel. And I just want to get you guys fired up about him because I know that the fan base loves De Debo Samuel. Last night, A minus. Two catches last night for 16 yards. Had a great comeback, comeback route on the right side from, from CJ Beathard. But here's the real stat. He has eight total touches this preseason. Six of them have gone for first downs, whether that's end arounds, whether it's across the middle, whether it's a comeback route. He has been a first down machine. I think he's just trying to get as many reps as possible. That's why you saw him in last night, because Kyle Shanahan wants to feature him a lot in this offense. I'm very excited to see what happens against a very below average Tampa Bay Bucks secondary. Let's just say it, you know, exactly how it is. I think he's going to have a big, big year. Would you draft him on your fantasy team? Yeah, I mean, he, later, obviously, maybe probably pick him up in free agency, but he's someone you could stash on your bench. If he really starts to have mon monster games, throw him into the flex because he'd be running the football uh, on those jet sweeps. I love the kid. He was, again, good last night. Not a lot of flashes, but what wide receiver had more than, like, three catches last night? He, again, has proven to be a great addition via the draft at the wide receiver position, and I'm very excited to see what happens whenever we get started for week one. Guys, the next time... We're actually reacting to a 49ers football game. It'll be a real 49ers football game. Tampa Bay, the afternoon game, uh, at, at, I believe at Tampa. I'm, I'm almost blinking right now. It's Tampa, I know that. And I believe it's on the road as well, but I cannot wait. I think you have a real chance to go 1-0. Tampa is, I mean, yeah, they have some decent players like Mike Evans, but Jameis Winston, the offensive line is poor. The defense is not that good. They're in our full rebuilding mode underneath the new head coach, Bruce Arians. I think we have a real shot to go 1-0. and oh. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are with me. And also, as we wrap this video up, give me your week three or week four preseason grades against the Chargers. Give me your overall grade for the 49ers last night. You, you like Beathard and uh, Wilson? You give it an A plus, maybe a B minus. Again, I think a B is safe to say. No one stood out, but no one really messed up. B is fine for me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And again, be sure to subscribe to our 49ers YouTube channel and leave your comments for our 49ers mailbag that's coming up next week using the hashtag 49ers. Guys, we do a ton of 49ers stuff here at Chat Sports. I'm trying to head all of it, and it always helps with a subscribe and a like down below. But I always appreciate you guys as well because we are cruising through to the start of the regular season. You've been with me through it the entire time. Cannot wait for us to get started. Let's go get a win week one, baby. Let's do it. Also, stay tuned tomorrow as we will be doing, uh, I believe we're going to be checking out the final cuts to get down to 53. So we'll have a video for that as well. Plenty of stuff, as always. That's all the time we have for today for our 49ers grades against the Chargers. For Chat Sports, I'm Thomas Mott signing off. Enjoy the rest of your day.